Welcome back to Judy, Judy's Keto Kitchen. I almost said Judy's Keto Kitchen. But anyway, here we are back in my kitchen and today I'm making a dill pickle dip. I can't wait. I have not made it before. I was going to uh, our HOA meeting and potluck and so I went to Aldi's and they, I thought I was buying a dill pickle dip, but it was a dill dip and I'm like, oh, I don't like this. I want dill pickle dip. So I'm going to, um, I go to knitting and crocheting and we get together and we bring food sometimes. And I always like to bring something I can eat. I don't normally have dairy, but sometimes I make things that I know other people will like. But this to me sounds really good. A dill pickle dip. So I have eight ounces of cream cheese softened in here and I've been spreading it around to make sure it was softened. To that I add eight ounces of sour cream, but it helps if you take the lid off. I love sour cream and cream cheese, but as I said, I don't have dairy a lot. And especially, um, we were leading a, PS, a precision PSMF group, and while I really don't have weight to lose, I think, I think that if I'm asking them to give up dairy and all these things that I should too. So I haven't had any dairy in two months, which is, that part's not unusual because we don't have dairy a lot. So I'm just mixing the cream cheese and the sour cream together till it's all well mixed. I had thought beforehand, well, if the cream cheese isn't soft enough, I could put it in the microwave for a few seconds to soften it up, but it seems pretty soft. And also I was thinking, well, if, it, if it's hard to mix, I can use my hand mixer, but this is working out well, just mixing it with a spoon. And to that, I'm going to add a tablespoon of garlic powder, a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, and I'm going to add a teaspoon of dill. So we have a tablespoon of garlic powder, a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. I'm going to put a teaspoon of dill. This is dried dill. It's uh, from my garden. If you want more dill, you can put more in it, but I don't think I'll need it with the pickles. So I'm just going to mix this up. And now I'm going to add a cup of, I have dill relish. Dill relish is hard to find. This is Mount Olive brand, which comes from North Carolina where I now live. Um, but it is hard to find dill relish. So if you cannot find dill relish, you can get dill pickles and chop them up. But a cup of dill relish or chopped dill pickles. I'm just gonna pour the jar in. I was gonna say that if you're using pickles, just do the pickles. And if you need more juice, put some pickle juice in it. But it's too difficult for me to try to separate the juice from the dill relish. Oh, look at that. Mmm, that looks so good. So now I will try it. And I have not had pork rinds in two months because I love pork rinds. I'm addicted to them. But when I do my strict P precision PSMF and I'm leading a group, I don't eat pork rinds. So these will be the first pork rinds I've had in two months to try my dill pickle dip. Mm. That is so good. That is really tasty. You know, other things I think you could probably have cut up vegetables, sliced cucumbers, but this tastes amazing. I know in our keto world, we all love dill pickles. And this is so good. Be great for football parties, summer um, cookouts, potlucks. Enjoy.